What's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jollibet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is Power Book Four Force, Season One, Episode Seven, Outrunning a Ghost. So shit is heating up. Tommy is trying to get his little slice of Chicago or whatever. So the dollar get train is chugging along. So we about to see where this takes us on this journey. So the beginning of the episode, man, we got it. They in the club. We see they putting in their footwork. They getting the players in the city or whatever. They getting everybody hooked. Let them get their little doses, their little taste of Dahlia. So everybody is just spazzing out. I'm, we call this the kissing drug or whatever. Because that's all you see, everybody. You don't see too many people like sniffing in and shit. You, you see everybody who they putting on their lips and <sighs> people orgasming and shit. Everybody just kissing. So this the kissing drug. The mono. But anyways, uh we see Reg is on the show. From from Chicago from the Shy. In one of the first lines on the show, he like uh I didn't think I was gonna be coming back to the Shy. Is it it's kinda funny if you if you think about it. Like uh because they killed him off on the Shy and he was one of the favorite characters or whatever, but he didn't want to have a transsexual relationship or whatever, and they kicked him off of the Shy. So, is some some bullshit happened with that situation. But anyways, then the young boys, they go up and then they have a plan. They got a cousin in Gary, Indiana or something. They be trying to make a play. Diamond is, he not for it. But then, Diamond leaves, leaves out the situation. Uh, they talk, talk to him. He like, yo, we can do this play or whatever, but you got to earn my trust again. We got to kill this white boy. Jay still has it on his mind. He still wants Tommy up out of there. So, Last episode, was it last episode or something, whenever they saved, they saved uh, Liliana. It, I was thinking that, that Jay kind of liked Liliana or whatever, and that's the reason why he kind of likes, like, wanted to save her with the drive-by or something, even though she got shot. But I think the whole situation, the whole time, he was trying to kill, he was trying to kill Tommy. It looked like they would have buried the axe, especially after they got together and did the, uh, whatchamacallit, they got the pipeline going. But, yeah, he, he wants Tommy up out of there. Like, he still wants Tommy dead. So, he wasn't trying to save, uh, Liliana. He was trying to kill Tommy. Uh, Tommy, they, they got to play. They trying to cut Dahlia. Basically making it crack instead of cocaine. So, he like, uh, he has a designer drug and whatever, but... The price margins and it's too high or whatever. We got to make it cheaper for everybody. So that's pretty much what they're going to be doing the whole episode. I don't like how they got this black woman. How they, they kidnapped and forcing her to make drugs and stuff. I think that's just... The optics of it is just not good. You didn't kidnap this black woman and got her working for you. Slaving in the kitchen. No other black people. Like... Yo, Tommy, you was you was raised with ghosts and them and stuff. You don't see how this could be wrong. Like that's, uh, I, I don't like that. But anyways, uh, JP, he he wants into the business, man. He like, I don't want you handing me something. I want to do my part, and I need to do this. Like I've dug us in such of a hole. I gotta help dig dig us out of it. And he wants to see his mom. Tommy is like, you don't you don't want to open that can of worms. This woman, she lied to me my whole life, and I don't want nothing to do with her. You think you want to want something to do with her? You a, you a lie. Like his family, his family, like it's my family too. Like I want to, uh, be able to know. Like so, I hope hopefully at one point Tommy mother will be introduced on the series, but she she ruins everything, especially she gonna find out that he alive or something. She might start telling everybody the face gonna find out he alive and stuff. It's gonna be some bullshit, but. She is a good character, so I wouldn't mind seeing her on the show, but we shall see. Tommy, they, you seen Jay put a hit out on Tommy. Basically, he like, you gotta kill this white boy. Tommy nephew warns him. He don't know that's his nephew yet, and I don't think the nephew knows that that's his uncle, but he knows that he's cool with his daddy, even though him and the daddy don't talk. But that's why he warns him. He like, look, watch your back. Watch your back. Something, something is coming. So, and Tommy, he talking to Liliana or something, man, he, he shows why he's pushing this black woman so hard and stuff. 
Like, he just wants something of his own. He always been a corner boy, always working underneath goals to this and that. Like, now is his big chance to finally be the man. So that's why he's he's pushing so hard. But he's kind of pushing people away as well. Then he make Liliana go on a date with uh with the with the black chick. She she's missing work. She has a date that she's supposed to be, be going for. They like if you keep her locked away for days or some people are gonna start looking for her. Okay, when well you want to go out, you you go out with her. So he makes him go on a date. Like she's the third wheel. It's some weird shit, but they doing their thing. Uh, we see all the all the players. They get in the club or something. They got Jay and them. He take his crew and it's showing them on the night out of the town. He gets his first taste of Dahlia on kind of accident or whatever. They got these bottle girls or whatever, and they they the ones that was in the beginning of the episode giving everybody kisses and stuff, getting them hooked. So this nigga right here, he already be sniffing on the coke and shit. So he got his first taste of Dahlia. Oh, you know that's about to be a problem. Because he got to say something, he going to want to be a part of it, he going to want to run this, who is behind it, he going to find out Tommy, he going to want to kill Tommy, I need this play, I need blah, 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 see. Adrian shows up again with Diamond. One thing whenever Adrian gets on the screen, they about to get it in. And I'm not mad at them. Hey, they be, they be getting it in, in. But I'm like, even last episode, I was like, man, something is up with Adrian. We find out later on in this episode, man, like, it is some bullshit. But it seems like she does like Diamond, but it's not, it wasn't genuine how they met. It's probably going to be one of those situations like on movies, be like, I, I was put up to find out about you, but then I fell in love with you. How can I trust you now? You know, the stereotypical love movie shit. Uh, and then Vic gets a taste of the drug, but... The sister playing that she was like my brother or something. You was you should whisper into, and she made it a point for Vic to get a little taste of the drug or whatever. And this, this some shit that might bite him in the ass. Some bullshit. Marshall and D Mac fall out. So, Marshall, I think Marshall is a uh, Tommy nephew or whatever. D Mac is is the other little dude or whatever, or vice versa. I don't know which one is which, but the little dude was posting on social media all night long. And they like, why a uh, homeboy didn't show up? Why homeboy Marshall didn't show up or whatever? He didn't show up because D Mac iced him out. He like, yo, yo, man, he, he come up behind me, hit him and shit. And homeboy pulls a gun out on him. He like, yo, you icing me out? Yo, this my play. This my cousin that's in Gary. You you been soft. You ain't want to shoot up a uh, homeboy at the club or whatever. You a bitch ass nigga. You I'm not taking you with me because you you soft or whatever. So this gonna be. Maybe Marshall, since he's going to be kind of ostracized out of the crew, maybe he might go to Tommy and them and, like, spill his guts and be like, uh, yo, man, you you might be family, uh, meet his father, you my uncle, he might be on the team for Dahlia. So he might he might level up on, on teams or whatever, well, as far as money-wise, but Tommy ain't got no crew yet. Uh, so Tommy, he goes back towards the lab or whatever. He see a bunch of Walter's men outside. He, he killed Walter's men. He goes up to Sophie. Yo, you you gotta be honest with me. Why your your daddy men is out there or whatever? Uh, but I think about it. And I seen your brother and this and that. You been you been trying to do moves behind my back? Like it was some bullshit. Like Sophie is not to be trusted. But she was like, I just wanted him to have a taste. Uh, whatever. Why why did you want that? Like, cause that's her brother. I want him to be part of it. He not he, not, he not, in, not part of it. He not part of it. Leave his ass alone. Because he a bitch ass nigga anyway. And he crying over glory and shit all episode. I'm glad they didn't show her. Or they really... I, I hate them on screen together. We find out what, what the deal with Adrian is. Adrian is a writer. Like they put her on the task. Like uh, Diamond is one of the biggest crime lords or whatever. And it's like he used to be this this uh, almost famous boxer and it's like yo his rise and fall and so she's supposed to get information on them. they're going to be writing the expose and it's going to turn into a book or whatever and so that's why they put her on to it and it's like well if you don't and I think she kind of regret me and she like uh mm, what's the word I'm looking for but the 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 head is like 
you got to do this because we didn't change it from Chicago gangs to just him. Like the, the whole article is about him. So now it's going to be some bullshit. Now it's like, yeah, she's really in a messed up situation now. Diamond and Jay, they beef again because Jay finds out about Dolly and he like, we got to be in this business. We got to get our hands on if whoever has this going to have the keys to the kingdom. We're going to be the shit. But you know Diamond. Diamond like, I spent too much time in jail. I'm not going back. We don't know what's the side effects of this. We don't know if bodies going to start dropping in the street. Uh, we don't know if things going to be super hot. Like, I'm not messing with it. We see the cousin from Gary, Indiana. They finally make the Gary play. It ends up being... Uh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me... Diamond talks to Tommy. And he asks Tommy, he like, What's this? Oh, I don't know. I kind of heard about it, but... Yo, stick to the classics. You don't want that or whatever. And Diamond is he's thinking about it. Like, maybe I need to, need to uh, find out what this is and get in cahoots with this or whatever. And so Tommy is like, yeah, I know people going to start wanting this, but shit, this this my shit. But anyway, so back to the, to the Gary Indiana thing. We see the cousin from Gary Indiana. Freddie motherfucking Gibbs. Gangsta Gibbs. I don't know if people want to call him Gangsta Gims now. Since Jim Jones beat that ass and whatever. But that's my dog. I'm a big Freddie Gibbs fan. Even though a lot of people is kind of like shit on Freddie Gibbs. Because Jim Jones jumped on his ass and whatever. But I like I like Freddie, man. And I like the fact that they like the shy. So they got rich from the shy. I think the little dude, Marshall or whatever. I think he a rapper. I, I could be wrong or whatever. But I, I think he a rapper. Maybe. You, you don't know. Uh, they had... They had uh, not Jaheen, uh, j j j j j j j j j I don't know. You know the, the singing nigga that I, I can't. I always forget his name whenever I I talk about about the motherfucker shit. But anyways, so they, they got a, a few Chicago people and stuff on the show. So so that's dope. Anyways, so we get to the end. The doctor finally cracks Dahlia. But it, it looks like maybe she was trying to like uh set him up or whatever. Like she, she the whole time she could have killed him. She could have made some chemical uh poison or whatever and just killed him. Been like, oh, okay, take this. This is Dolly. Y'all cracked it. Kill him. Uh, but she actually cracked it. And now they're gonna be able to sell it for cheap and have bigger quantities and really make the money or whatever. So now Tommy really has the keys to the kingdom. Tommy is about to be the man, but then the thing about it is he's going to have a target on his chest. He already does, but then the target might be lifted whenever they, if they find out that Tommy is the head of it. And it's like, that's the only way we can get it is for Tommy is like, no, we can't kill the white boy now because we need him at this point. So we says Jeremiah. That's that's homeboy name. Fucking Jeremiah. God damn it. Anyways. It was, it was another good, it was, it was, it was an aight episode, man. It was, it was cool. Like, to me, this was a set-up episode. Like, a setting up, because it's almost towards the end of the season, so they're setting up for, for other things. But we're going to see. Uh, it was cool. Uh, I'd give it like a 7.5 out of 10 or whatever, if I'm rating. I don't really rate the episodes or whatever. But, like, comment, subscribe. Don't be the greatest and the most hated man. Y'all, put y'all thoughts in the comment section. What do y'all think about this episode? Holla at your boy. Peace.